This is Theodoric or Theodoric, means leader of the people in Greek. It is a 57 foot traditional stern narrowboat built on a tin tiler shell and fitted up by William Piper and Oakcraft Narrowboats. I can say with virtual certainty you won't see a boat quite like this again for a long time. She's absolutely full of charm and character. Unique, I should say. She's been in the hands of the current owner since 2017. He's lived very happily aboard, but it's time he considers to invest in bricks and mortar. So she's back on the market. She had a full survey in 2017. That's available for inspection in the office. There's the well deck. Excuse me for interrupting myself. Absolutely beautiful. All hand carved oak. Those benches, oak table. She was repainted in 2017 by Steve Furness. I put Whedon just up the road. Those pigeon boxes in the roof, they were new in 2017, as were those solar panels. A lot of work was done in 2017. I'll try and identify bits and pieces as we go through. She's in absolutely stunning condition. She was two years ago, and she still is now. So we're going through the stern cabin. This is completely refitted in 2017 in reclaimed elm. Stunning job, that was Jim Birch did that. The engine's under the boards in here, that's a Vetus M417, 42 horsepower. Huge propeller, she handles beautifully. And there's only 279 hours on the clock. The inverter you saw there is a 3 kilowatt Victron. That was new in 2017, as was the Victron battery monitor. Into the bedroom, twin poster bed, absolutely beautiful. Oak throughout, solid oak, everything's thick. Two side hatches in this room with glazed inner panels either side. All the paint you'll see in these cabins is farrow and bull, and here's a good size hanging wardrobe. Storage under this bed. Lovely radiator there. At the foot of the bed is a wall-mounted television. There's three televisions on board, you'll see those as we go through. Beautiful room. Into the bathroom, this was completely refitted in 2017. Ceramic Belfast style basin there, the loo is a, a pump-out macerator, sunny marine. The shower was completely redone. There's a wardrobe here. There was a uh, tumble dryer in there two years ago. That's come out to give a bigger wardrobe. And there's the washing machine. Lovely antique effect towel rail. through this beautiful door into the saloon. Stunning room, full of character. Another lovely radiator there. The saloon, by the way, is nine feet, eight inches long. There's another wall-mounted television up here. Some shelves neatly tucked away behind it. And there's the stove. That was new in 2017, it's a Hobbit. And all this light switch of these beautiful dolly switches. There are two big pigeon boxes, one in here, one in the galley. They add a lot of light to the boat and air. Little table there, and there's a demountable table. That's solid oak for the forward cabin, which we will see shortly. And to the galley. Another side hatch here. There's the other pigeon box I referred to. They've both got storm covers for the winter, the pigeon boxes. They were new in 2017. Start over here, there's a plate rack, a cupboard. Notice those lights come on when the cupboard's open. A lot of the cupboards on the boat do that. The fridge, that was new in December 2016. That's a candy and there's the dishwasher. 
that was new in 2017. And here's the Heritage Range. Beautiful bit of equipment. There's the oven. The top compartment is the, the guts of the thing and the controls. That does hot water, central heating, and cooking. Head height on the boat is six feet five, by the way. And the galley is seven feet one. I love this room. Forward cabins are second sitting room. It makes up into a double bed. To make the bed, you lift this hatch, pull out the baseboard. The mattress is in the wardrobe uh, you saw earlier. And these are clever. These steps are tracked to give yourselves more space if you're sitting together in here. There is a table that goes in here, by the way, for dining. And here's the beautiful well deck I mentioned. All solid oak. The mantle table is there. There's another one to make it a long table. And it actually converts into another bed for one or a cosy two in the summer if it's warm enough. So let's have another walk back through the boat. Batteries were all new in July 2019. There's four domestics, one starter. Lighting is all LED. There's a couple of cupboards here. Beautiful doors. I love those glazed doors. She's gas free. There are two diesel tanks, one in the bows, the 300 litre one is for the range and there's one in the stern for the propulsion. Absolutely beautiful. The cratch cover was new in 2017 by the way. She has a galvanic isolator. Stunning boat. The bedroom, I don't think I mentioned, is 8 feet 4 inches long. And the beautiful stern cabin is 4 feet 3 inches long. She comes with all the necessary navigation equipment to just turn the key and go. There's Theodoric. Stunning. For further information, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.